This video was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Get top quality razors delivered to your door starting at just $1 a month. Link below in the description. Skip it up and that up. So as we all know, Apple's iCloud system has been hacked. Um, it's been reported all over the place. It's kind of why I shied away from it. There's been a billion different videos, billion different articles, and I was just like, you know what? Everyone else is giving their take on it. Everything It's been beaten to death. So I kind of stayed away from it. I'll have an article below, too, that I'm not going to discuss too much, or at all, actually, talking about how this hack could have happened and how someone exploited a vulnerability in iCloud. So I'm not here to talk about the whole iCloud hack directly. I'm here to talk about something that's happening due to the iCloud hack that made me shit my pants a little bit. Like, right now, there may be turds between my ass cheeks. I may not be kidding. The nude photos of celebrities such as Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton that were stolen and uploaded to the internet over the weekend are no longer confined to college dorms around the country. They are now art. The stolen photos will be part of the No Delete exhibition by LA artist XVALA, opening in the Corey Allen Contemporary Art Showroom in St. Petersburg, Florida on October 30th. And this is what this brilliant artist is going to do. XVALA will print the nude photos on a canvas, unaltered, as part of the artist's Fear Google campaign which features private images of celebrities found on Google. We share our secrets with technology, he said. And when we do, our privacy becomes accessible to others. <laughs> Whatever, dude. The quote-unquote Fear Google campaign began in 2011 when XVALA posted similar leaked images of Scarlett Johansson all over the streets of Los Angeles with a logo covering her funny business. He also used used a photo of Britney Spears with a shaved head as part of another work. XVALA appropriating celebrity compromise images and the overall Fear Google campaign has helped strengthen the ongoing debate over privacy in the digital era, according to his publicist Corey Allen. So this guy, Jeff Hamilton, is his actual name, XVALA, has done similar crap like this before. 2007, he framed a photo of Britney Spears with a shaved head. 2012, he used garbage collected from the home of Steve Jobs, and he created a sculpture of the dude with it. So, yeah, this is what he does for art. Oh, boy. So where do I even begin with this whole fiasco? Well, welcome to the Internet. Welcome to the digital era uh, where everything you do uh, online can always be exposed. If you post something on the internet, if you post something to the cloud, if you post something, even if you think it's super secure somewhere, someone can hack it and they could find it in today's day and age. It's not like an old man saying that, but it's true. So if you think sending a picture of your schlong is safe and secure because you sent it to your girlfriend, even if you never break up with her and she ends up being your wife, there may be some way someone get a hold of that picture of your Johnson. So yeah, due to the internet and due to all the technology that we have, nothing you do on your phone or on your computer is always going to be private. If there's a will, there's a way, and someone can find out your personal information. That's just how it is. It's not good, it's terrible, but you just got to accept it, unfortunately. Now, there's two other non-tech aspects that I want to talk about. The first one is you have dudes like the RZA, who I'm a big fan of the RZA. I respect him. I grew up listening to Wu-Tang. He's saying basically, hey, if you put it up on online or if you put it up even you think somewhere that's private, if it's up in the cloud and it gets leaked, you can't bitch about it. And I don't agree with that at all, okay? I understand what I just said. Hey, you know, that risk is there. And I just said, hey, you know, technology is great, but that's kind of the downside and we just have to deal with it. But this sucks. You know, Jennifer Lawrence is probably just sending pictures to her boyfriend and she didn't do something in public. It's not like she pulled a, like a, a Miley Cyrus and, you know, blue lines of coke off a 12 inch Johnson in a bar somewhere, a public bar. She just probably sent pictures to her boyfriend and now the whole world has seen her naked. And that is fucking bullshit. And I don't agree with RZA at all on that. You know, they didn't expect this to happen. They were hoping that this would have stayed private. 
and it didn't. So I don't agree with that, Rizza. That that's not right. You can't look. I'm gonna be real with you here. Show of damn hands. Who has received a picture of boobs? Okay, from a girl they were seeing. I'm raising mine, all right? And I know some of you dudes out there, probably a lot of you, have probably sent pictures of your Johnson to women that you were seeing, all right? So don't make it like, for anyone out there who's playing the holy roller and who's done this before, you're being a hypocrite, okay? If these girls were doing something in a public place, like at a movie premiere or a bar, then I'd be like, hey, you know what? You're in public and you're doing, you're, you're making out with dudes or you're, you know, you're doing, blowing lines off the table. That's different. This was in the privacy of their own home and they didn't expect these pictures to go anywhere. So you can't even compare the two and everyone needs to get out their soapbox because just stop it. Secondly, to this dude, Dude XVALA who has the balls to call himself an artist. Well, Jeff, you're not an artist. You're just exploiting popular topics to get a name for yourself, and it's working. As a matter of fact, I'm also helping you with this right now because now people who didn't know who you were before now know you who you are. But I'm not giving you positive attention, I'm giving you negative attention. You're part of the reason that this shit happens. You're making it like, oh, I'm, I'm here to expose what's wrong with the internet and what's wrong with Google and how they're watching everything we do. But you're making more people want to do that by bringing more light to it. You're not making a cause to go against it. You're making more people, you're making this more known. And I know why you're doing it is because to give yourself fame and notoriety because you've done it before and that's why people know who you are. So you're not doing this to, you know, expose Google and expose the evils of the internet. You're doing it to make a fucking name for yourself. And congratulations. It's working, dipshit. You're a hypocritical asshole. Piss off, Jeff. The bottom line is this, too, and I guess I'm making three points here, is that the American especially obsession with celebrity is another reason why this shit happens. It needs to stop. Celebrities are humans just like us. They piss, they shit, they fuck, they die just like we do. Joan Rivers just passed away. We need to stop idolizing these people. And here's another shocker. I didn't see the picture of Jennifer Lawrence, but I'm going to make a prediction. She probably has two boobs and a vagina. There, I ruined it for you. In case, spoiler alert, so if you're going to go look at the picture, now, now you know what she has. They're humans, people. They're not gods. Stop treating them like they're some kind of divine presence. All right, folks, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one. The preceding video was brought to you by Big Cheese's YouTube channel. For gameplay reviews, gaming music, and vlogs, subscribe to Big Cheese VG. Link below in the description.